day 51. And the last little stretch of Mata Pass. We're coming for you. the wolf prince of the Sierra Nevada. And there's Mather Pass. are somewhere over there. Okay, so you can see the prints and then we climbed up those rocks because we couldn't find the switchbacks. Next level out of 10, what will we rate it? Probably the highest yet. I'm going to give it a three. If you go the right way or you go <laughs> the loose gravelly dirt. I'm still giving it a three out of 10 for sketch. Yeah. I never, at no point did I feel unsafe. Yeah. I would recommend going in late afternoon when it's slushier though because like unless you went switchbacks wait you can put these prints on youtube so we can get a uh... i already got them they're they're kind of there's no way those are cat prints anyway they're big print. they're well big there's some type of animal that lives on mather pass and it's either a wolf where are the prints at are there some up here still yeah. dang maybe it's definitely not mountain lion hold on look, look how close together they are there it's a snow fox oh, no yeah Okay, so I thought it was wolf prints yesterday, and Tom said he heard coyotes last night, so it makes sense. It makes sense. And then I would probably, these are probably bobcat. So, how much of a difference is it between coyotes Uh, they're just a different species. I don't know. Coyotes. Anyway, we made it up mad there. No more fear mongering because nothing has been scary, so from now on, we're just gonna hit paths whenever we feel like it. Um, the far out comments, we're just gonna flood them with positivity because they've been like, you'll be lucky to die if you fall. <laughs> You're gonna die. You need spikes and axe and repelling gear. And uh, no, I made it up with no experience and micro spikes and sheer determination. So. For those of you wondering, all those episodes back when I talked about hating the snow, I am embracing it now. I have found a love for getting to sleep beneath these beautiful snowy mountains. I have learned to embrace the cold feet, the wet feet, the tired feet, the slogging through the slush, the gliding over the ice, and I am so much, so very much in awe um, of where we get to camp and where we get to hike and how it's just us out here. There's, they've only seen us four and two other people in the last four days. It is just absolutely stunning. And we're so lucky because how low the snow is that we're able to do this so early. We are just loving it. Especially last night, our campsite, I've never seen anything. As it was probably the most beautiful campsite ever. It was absolutely stunning. But now we keep making our way down Mather Pass and headed towards Muir. Right after a short lunge, we are headed up Muir Pass. It's going to be a long one, but at least the weather's beautiful.
Post hole city. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> See, there's a rock there. There you go. Mariah's just bleeding all over the snow. <laughs> just he just crawled up. <laughs> In fairness, when you crawl, your weight distribution is bad. You can you imagine crawling up this six inch deep slush? So, we thought we could go from your past because we hadn't seen any comments on it. So we started the climb after lunch and um, we are less than a mile from the summit and the shelter, which we were going to plan on just sleeping in. And we started post holing so badly that, and everything just got so cold and then it got really windy. So then we decided to just camp here on the snow. Um, and then the amazing and heroic Corey, um, when I was crying in a belly button deep post hole saying that I was done, I quit, I'm going home, hit the button, hit the SOS, he scooped me up and then he just boiled us some water and it's currently in our sleeping bag, um, warming our feet, oh my cuz they are numb. But not only were we in a silly mood thinking we could do it, it was very stupid and could be quite dangerous, so. Good morning, day 51, we survived. Okay, our tent looks like someone got murdered. Corey's uh, postal blood, which you can actually see. As he was setting up the tent, he fell in and continued to bleed. So there goes the resale value on our triplex. Today is 52, by the way. Um, so yesterday almost broke me. I definitely cried. And people are going to say, you did it to yourself. You shouldn't do a pass in the afternoon. But going off all of the far out comments from June of 2021, which is what most people are saying our conditions are like right now. Um, all the comments from early May to June of 2021 are saying that your pass has no snow, that it's super easy, nice and fast. So we were assuming that, which, you know, we didn't have any far out comments. Nobody has commented. And if they have, we haven't gotten them yet because we haven't had service. So um, just the post holding, the falling, the quarter mile an hour was just a lot. Luckily, the group decided to not keep pushing and to just camp on the snow, which was a blessing because this morning the snow is rock solid so whew, it's one of those things where it's like you don't know until you get there when you get there you just try to make it as far as you can um we got to camp at like seven o'clock and we still have half a mile so that's how slow going it was but we're almost there just a little ways up just going over there Look, he's got a doobie. <laughs> John Muir probably would have smoked weed. So we made it up to the Muir Hut in like 
10 minutes this morning that probably would have taken us another hour or two last night. So we hung out in the hut and now we are making our long 20 mile descent down and hopefully out of the snow here in a few miles. But whew, I'm feeling much better today than last night. It's not every day you cry as your post holding to your waist. <laughs> so, yeah, much better today. Lunchtime means drying out everything that was soaking wet this morning. <laughs> We have started the climb up Selden Pass and so far we have been graced with warm sun <coughs> and a nice steep climb but no snow and we're hoping that we are planning on camping fingers crossed there's no snow so over here we have TNT and snack camel <laughs> fighting about the snacks because snack camel has been bogarting and TNT Four is. Days and these. We got two days left. <laughs> I think it's time to share the snacks. Okay, so we just ate dinner and sorted out some Hamel and TNT snacks. And we are three miles from the summit of Selden Pass. So far, no snow. So. We're very hopeful, but after yesterday, I have like trauma. Um, today we did almost 25 miles, which is absolutely crazy. It was a lot. We finished the climb up Muir Pass and did the 20 mile descent. And then we started a four and a half mile climb up from where the Muir Ranch is, but obviously it's not open. So alas, here we are. And we are about 40 miles from the spur to Mammoth. So, fingers crossed we can do some big days and be out of here soon, do a shower, a bed, and some amenities. But anyway, today was warmer weather and it was very beautiful. We crossed into the John Muir National Forest, I think, or wilderness, and we're just greeted with a little bit more pine, a little bit more foresty vibes, and uh, yeah. We're gonna get a good night's sleep and finish this climb up Selden. So, good night from day 52.